Hello and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series, where in this episode we are starting a bit from where we left off actually in the last episode. Uh, oh no. I'm still in the village with the um, with the desert temple, trying to protect these guys and now I got hunger. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to protect these guys um, while I'm here and I don't think anyone has died yet. <laughs> um, at least I'm trying not to let anyone die. But speaking of dying and... Did that rabbit just die? Oh no. He, f he died from fall damage. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um, that's sad. Anyways. Um, yeah. I'm trying to protect this village. And speaking of protecting, I'm going to make a secur security wall around this place. But first... I need to take out this husk. Second, I need to get a bunch more wood. And when that is done, I then need to... I actually need to go back home. Because this town is quite big, and so I will need a lot of um, stone. <gasps> and that's an... That's... <laughs> I can't speak. That's an abandoned mine shaft. Whoa, okay, we'll definitely need to remember that for, I guess, maybe next episode we'll go explore it, I don't know. But, in today's episode, we have an objective that needs doing, and that is to protect this village, and all the other villages, of course. But in this episode, I'm going to do this one, and then I think I might do the other ones off-camera, as it is quite a, hard, quite a lot of hard work. So, I'm going to head back home um, with all this loot. I will see what I have um, blocks wise, I think I'll go after cobblestone and also I'll need more wood so I'll chop down some trees and I guess I could go mining there but I really need to go home with all these resources anyway so I think I'll do that. So I'll go home then I'll be right back once I'm home and then um, yeah it's only like five minutes walk or something in real life. <laughs> um, so I'll get back home and then I'll be right back and we'll see what blocks I have. I'm thinking of because it needs to protect them from monsters and I would like it also to protect from like if a villager is close to the to the um, fence that zombies can't reach um, past the fence. So I'm going to make it rather high but yeah I'm not going to just put like cobblestone wall or cobblestone fence like here and then on top of that because that doesn't look that that good so I think I have, an, uh, have a design in my head and we'll see how that looks it's going to require a lot of cobblestone or a lot of cobblestone and wood um, so yeah we'll see what it will turn out to be so I'll just get back and apparently there are four donkeys here at um, five including that one in this area so that's something to remember but yeah, in the last episode we got all this loot, which is amazing. But enough talking, let me get home and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Alright, I'm now home. And no, I did come from that direction. I did not come from this direction, but I did cut or chop a lot of wood. I got two stacks of wood, um, of um, oak wood. And yeah, because I think I'm going to use those in the build or in the wall. And yeah, now we are home. So let's now go home, empty out our in inventory, and let's see what um, how much cobblestone we actually have. So we're back home, sweet home. We we weren't gone for too long. So let's put those in there, then there, then there. I guess I'll put those there for now. Um, I'll put this in here, that in there, that in there. I'll leave this here, um, as I will use it. Sooner than later, let's get these enchanted books in here as well. Let's get this iron armor over here. And together with the horse armor as well, I guess. And the music disc I'll put in here as well. Yeah, I need it needs some cleanup. Um, so let's do that. Okay, let's see how many blocks we have. Okay, we got a bunch of cobblestone that I'm probably not going to use um, for a very long time. 
And if so, I can always gather more. So let's take all this. And this might just be enough to um, to make this build. Let me just see. I guess I'll take this as well. I can always cut some more wood. I will need that just to have in my inventory. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I will grab a double chest for the house back there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be on my way again. Let me just check that. Actually, I could use some coal with me on my journey. All right, I think we're good to go um, again. Oh, it's getting nighttime. I will sleep and then I'll go back to the village. Ah, a lot of running back and forth. All right, let's go. All right, we are back at the village with the desert temple. I might actually, oh, something on all, all over the place. I might, ow. I might actually dig this temple out at some point so we can like get a f nice flat area around it. But I will not do that now. Now I will just focus on getting the wall up and running. So um, it is a bit difficult to do with this terrain. So yeah, I might need to, yeah, it's going to be actually a lot difficult to do this because it's so hilly, but it shouldn't be impossible. So, hmm, I guess I'll start over here at the flat area just to give myself an idea. So let's do this over here. Okay, let's start it here then. So my idea is to make the base of the wall cobblestone. So let's just do this for a bit. Oh, not like that. And then let it continue out this way. I should have enough cobblestone for this and wood. I'm not sure about the wood part, but I be th I think I should have enough. Okay, and then we can let it go in a bit, like so, and then turn it again. The, the point of this is actually to let the zombies out or leave the zombies out yeah, to keep the zombies and monsters out and to keep the villagers in so they don't get hurt. And so we need to do that. Okay, this is what I'm talking about, maybe digging around. So hmm, I might actually do that. Let me just dig a bit here. This is where an efficiency five or just four shovel is great for um, for this kind of thing. So here, here, it seems, and here, I think we are well out of the way of the, um, yeah, of the temple here, there we go. So we can do that. I don't really want to cut all or dig all this out because I don't have a fast enough shovel to do it. And I do want to include the temple in this um, in this wall. So I think I will run it right here. So if I take this, I run it here. Actually, let's move it over just a bit. Uh, here, for example, is a good place. And do this, do this, do this, that. And here, and then this, and this is an issue, so I'll just dig this part out, and like so, all this will be dug out, so we got a nice clear area for the wall, so nothing can jump over the fence, or the wall, <laughs> okay, like so, yeah, that should do, for now anyway, maybe just one more layer and it should be good. There we go. Okay, I can stay. And lead the wall down here. And then do this. Like so. And then lead that down this way. And so here. I should have enough cobblestone. I think. <laughs> I might not. Okay, that should do. Um, 
I will of course have to dig a lot of this out just to make sure that nothing can get in. So like this, make sure that nothing can jump over. But that should be the base of the wall. Um, I guess they can swim around, but I'm not going to be too bothered about that. As it's not going to be that big of a problem, I don't think. So I'll leave that as is for now. So we can do that. Just make it look nice. So cover up these edges here. Take it up just a bit. Like so. Okay. Here we will need to like dig down a bit. Just to make it level. Like so. And my shovel just broke. <laughs> I'll fix this later. Um, I think this should do. Again, I will have to... I think I will dig this out at one point when I get a really fast shovel. So... That'll be a fun time lapse. Okay. That should do for now. And... Just dig that out. Place that. Cover that up. I think this is going to work. If you have any ideas, be sure to let me know. But I think this is what I'm going to roll with for now. Um, this mountain is going to be in the way, but I think... I guess we can go diagonal, like this. So... Maybe. Take this out as well. Monsters can't run and jump, so that's a big advantage. So... Move it like here. All the well, scared me. <laughs> Move it all the way over like so. So like this, I think, and then move it over like this. So yeah, this could work, actually. Now I'm cutting right into one of the roads, but that's fine. Here we go. And now it's getting night time, so I should probably sleep. So nothing will happen to any of them. And this is just the first step. After this, I need to put torches all around the place to make sure that it's lit inside. And I'll just go ahead and sleep right here. And I just remembered that I got that in there. A few sticks can burn that. Yeah, that should do. Okay, just finish the wall, or the foundation of the wall, actually. There we go. And I can place sand here. Excuse me, sir. There we go. It's for your own good and protection. And apparently... Oh, that's the lava from there. <laughs> okay, and then place like this. Like so. I think... This is good. And then double it on these edges. Put here. Yeah. Okay, so that's the base um, of the wall. I'll pretty it up later, I guess, to make it look like... To make it look really good. So we can just do that for now. I think that should work. Should have my pickaxe out. There we go. Yeah, nothing's going to be able to get through this, I don't think. Okay, so that's this. Then, oh, rabbits, please be careful. <laughs> okay. Now it's the difficult part. The fence. I'm going to put fence on the next layer. So, that is the reason why I have all this wood on me. I'm going to convert a bunch of it. And make a ton of sticks. Now I just need to remember... How exactly you make um, fence again? I think it's this. Yes. So this and that. Okay. This is not enough, but I will have. To, it will have to start with it. So I'll just start placing this, and then I'll cut out and be right back. So let me just start placing it, and I think we'll level this out as well. There we go. And then put some sand around this area here. Fill this gap in. Remove this here. Like so. There we go. 
that you do. So I'll start the fence, fence, fence over here, and um, yeah, we'll be good to go. Like so, and it will have to move up like so, I think, to look good. Um, yeah, it will. So here, here, here. And this will just go all around the wall. So I'll just go ahead and do this and be right back again. All right. I completed the fence all around town. So it goes all around like that, all the way over to where we began. And now I have a stack of oak fence remaining, but we'll be needing those for the next, for the other villages. Um, this village is actually the hardest one because it's so hilly, the other ones aren't so hilly, so that's good. The next and final step of this process is to make a bunch of cobblestone slabs, and I'm going to need a bit more than that, I think. But just a bit. Uh, just make that, yeah, that should do. Um, yes, and let's just begin right over here as well. Okay, and this will basically prevent spiders from entering as well and make it extra protected. So if I do like this and that and uh, I guess I'll do it from here. So just place it on top of the fence and that will, I think it will prevent the spiders from entering because they're just one block high. They will go up in here and then they will hit their head on this um, fence. And this is completing the wall, basically. So do that, do that, and that. And come on, place, there we go. And I'll just do this all around as well. So again, I'll be right back. Yeah, this is going to take a while. And also these, um, I did, whoops, whoopsie. There we go. I did leave these as they are because nothing can get through anyways. Spiders might be able to, but I don't think... When did this get <laughs> created? <laughs> okay, that's strange. Um, yeah, I don't think spiders are able to get through here, but even if they are, they are not the main problem. And still monsters cannot get like here because they cannot like run jump and not even I can get through here. Um, this might be a problem though. What have I done here? Just uh, place. There we go. Um, this doesn't need to be like that. I don't think. Let me just. Okay, I know. Oh, there it is. It flew a bit. Okay, and one, two, three. There we go. Placed it three other places than it was supposed to. Yeah, you're not able to make that jump. And place. Yeah, I'll be right back again, and I'll get this wall done. <sighs> A lot of work. As I just said, it is the most difficult village to do, as the other ones are pretty, um, pretty not as hilly as this one, so that's good. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I finished that part, now with 25 cobblestone slabs remaining. And I think this looks pretty good, actually. Now the final thing to do is to get rid of this skeleton. So just get him. Let him shoot. There we go. And get rid of him. There we go. I don't even think I got an arrow from that. So that's fine. Oh, no. Well, that's just great. <sighs> At least it didn't blow up the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. The wall is not explosive resistant. So, yeah, that's a thing I have to be careful of because I don't think creepers will... Yeah, creepers will not blow up villagers, but as we saw in the last episode, they will blow up... Um, they will blow up, like, skeletons that shoot them. Now, this is an issue. I do need to put lighting in here, because otherwise it's not going to help at all, or very much, because husks can still spawn in here, or zombies. So, like that. But he's, 
unfortunately outside the wall so i'll just go ahead and sleep with these guys in here talking and i got an arrow in my arm ow that must hurt a lot yeah and as we can obviously hear from this there's a husk somewhere right here so just get rid of him there we go and the other guy is burning and as we can see there is a burning skeleton right here i'll take your arrow sir thank you so yeah i definitely need to put some lighting up in here um i think i'll do that off camera but a good thing is, is there's a skeleton in here show yourself he's very annoying oh i think he's oh hello <laughs> just look at him <laughs> just looking at me whoa okay ow okay there we go there got some more arrows um yeah one thing is that you cannot place torches on top of now i need to get up on top of the the slabs but one thing you can do if i can just get up here i need to make some stairs so i can actually get up so that's another thing you can use the slabs for it's just uh i guess we'll need a gate here um so i guess I'll make a gate here at some point. Maybe I'll, I think I'll do that off camera, but let me just use these for now. As you can see, I cannot place any torches on here because they have slabs. But one thing you can do is place another slab and then a torch. That will enable you to place a torch. It will not look as good, but it should get the job done. And now you can just place these around as you wish. So put one here maybe, and then like do it every corner or something, and then from there increase the light level so one at this corner as well and then one at this corner like so but i don't think it's that um monsters will spawn on half slabs anyway so i don't think lighting up the wall like this is such a big um as important as lighting up the entire town so that's definitely something that i will have to do Oh, I missed one. Um, yeah, I'll do that off camera because it's a really long process. So I'll just do this and call it an episode, I think. So how does it look from outside the wall? Let's go over there to that hill over there at the savannah. So yeah, I'll have to put some gates like here and on the other side and behind there as well, I think. Just to make it possible for me to exit and enter easily. So... Let's see how it looks. Get up here. Look for anything else interesting. No? Okay. Yeah, that looks actually pretty good. I'm happy I used the wooden, f the oak fence instead of the, um, the cobblestone wall. But I think that looks pretty good. It looks really secure from the outside. So, yeah. No monsters are getting through that. Except for Endermen, but they're not a problem. Now I just need to go, go around and light up. The, all the areas I'll use F3 um, I don't remember what number you look at uh, it's the light 15 and then the block one so you can see like the light level of that block I could also do it now I don't need to wait for night time so I can like go here and then see okay 7 at 7 there is possibility of monster spawning so you can go right like this place one every time it says 7 and you can go around and do that so place one here and then one here maybe and yeah that's a it's a long process so i'll do that off camera but it, i think it's easier to do it like at night so you can more see where it is more easily so yeah or you can just run around and place torches and hope that you don't miss a spot but yeah that's going to be it for this episode, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends, and if you're new to the channel, remember to, su to subscribe, and also, if you got any suggestions for this Minecraft world, or for the villagers or anything, which is basically also the Minecraft world, be sure to let me know down in the comments. But with all that said, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. This is going to be a long work, and hard to put all these torches. All right, have a nice day. Bye-bye.